All right, here's the deal. Following our latest tech update, catch one of the most insightful calls from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. We are in uncharted waters. There has never been a presidential election like this one. Emotions are white hot. Donation requests are never ending, while loud voices say, don't donate at all. Email and text bombard us. So here's a little help. I'm Kim Commando for Incogni. Stop robocalls, spam text, junk email, and remove yourself from the internet. Get 60% off today at privacykim.com. First, whether you donate or not, never donate through a text or an email link. The chances of fraud are extremely high. And cyber crooks are using legitimate-looking political ads to take users to malicious websites. If you do want to donate, go directly to the candidate's official website. Next, for really bothersome texts, block the sender's number. But remember two things. Spammers will quickly get another number and hit you up again. Finally, the anti-spam laws were written by politicians. They exempted themselves from those very laws. But you knew that already, didn't you? Get your home address, social security number, and more off the internet at privacykim.com. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show. Uh, Michael in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hello there, Michael. Hi, Kim. Thanks for taking my call. You betcha. What's going on? Well, I had a question about um, identity theft protection. I am currently a customer of LifeLock and have been for about six years. Sure. Uh, but they ch- they changed ownership, as I'm sure you're aware of. And um, my customer experience, I would say, is not satisfactory. So I was wondering if you could recommend an al- alternative. Well, you know, there are different <laughs> identity theft services out there. And, of course, LifeLock, now owned by Norton, is is probably still the biggest one that's that's available. Uh, you know, if you don't want to pay for this, there are things that you can do before we talk about options. Uh, you can freeze your credit, and you have to do that on the three credit bureaus, and we've got steps on how to do that over on the website. But if you are truly concerned about your identity, and if you, you know, don't want to play with the big boys anymore, the, the life locks of the world, uh, there, there's a company called Identity Guard. Uh, you, they do basically the same thing, monitoring alerts, identity theft. They do credit monitoring. Uh, they have fraud resolution, and uh, they used to be a sponsor of the show, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and they're still out there and, and full force. So if you're looking for an option for identity theft, just you know, take a look at Identity Guard. There's also Identity Force, by the way, Identity Guard, Identity Force, and then consider uh, freezing your credit. And again, we've got the steps on how to do that. What that means is that nobody's able to get any type of credit information about you because your credit report is frozen. And when you do get a request, you have to unfreeze it. Or if you know you're going to apply for a mortgage or a credit card or whatever, is that you go ahead and you open your credit card up for your credit report, rather, for a particular time, say 24, 48 hours. And then you lock that sucker back down. Hey, Michael, thank you so much for your call today. You are the best for tuning in. Now, if you're curious about something, pop over to commando.com and click email, Kim. I read every single email like it's a secret code to unlock some hidden tech treasure. And you can catch the tech wave. How? Just get my free daily newsletter. Head over to getkim.com. Once again, that's getkim.com.